constant efforts to keep your partner happy without expecting anything in return, you must rethink your options. You have to be able to communicate it and you have to be able to say no. And to say no, you have to be built on a solid foundation. You have to have options. The whole idea of sacrificing your dreams for the sake of your partner may lead you to a life full of regrets. If you don't have options, you can't negotiate with someone. And if you're not willing to use them, they win, period. Stop being too nice in a relationship. It is toxic. It is good to be loving and caring in a relationship, but being too nice to someone can bounce back at times. Your partner loves you when you treat him or her nice and value him or her. But those who do not hesitate to sacrifice their self-respect to keep others happy usually fail to impress the love of their lives. If you are too nice in a relationship, you may start to feel like a loser. If you make constant efforts to keep your partner happy without expecting anything in return, you must rethink your options. Your own needs and requirements must be on top of your priority list, as you cannot love others if you don't love and value yourself. Those who do not live their lives on their own terms end up running in a circle. The whole idea of sacrificing your dreams for the sake of your partner may lead you to a life full of regrets. There are a number of ways you can be too kind. As well as potentially limiting your partner's growth, it can have a detrimental effect on your own health and ability to live your own life. If you're a naturally kind and giving person, it can be a trap because you're naturally inclined to do more for your partner. And if you're a parent, it's very difficult to get the balance between doing too much for your kids and allowing them to grow up independently. Here are the most common signs of being too nice. Hopefully you can rule most of them out, at least for your partner, if not for any kids you have. But if not, it'll show you what needs keeping an eye on. One, your relationships are always one-sided. While there are plenty of reasons women stay in bad relationships, being someone's doormat shouldn't be on the list. If you're taking on the brunt of the responsibilities in the relationship, reevaluate what it means to really have a partnership or even a friendship with someone. If you're not both putting in equal work, it's not much of a relationship. Two, people view your niceness as a weakness and take advantage of it. When you start being overly nice to people, they'll sometimes use that to their own advantage. Never underestimate people's ability to be crappy. For example, if you start taking on someone else's assignments at work on the regular, they'll get all the credit and won't stop you from taking on that task. You won't receive anything but maybe a half-hearted thanks. Your bosses won't know you did any extra work and your own work might even start to fall behind. Don't let other people take advantage of your need to please everyone. 3. You're emotionally repressed. Being non-confrontational and trying to avoid petty drama is one thing. Never speaking up when someone bothers you is a completely different one. You shouldn't bottle up all of your emotions just to spare someone else's feelings, no matter how much you love them. 4. You never stand up for yourself. Your voice is getting lost amidst the crowd and you're not being heard. You're too nice to demand the respect of others, so people are stepping all over you. In your quest to be a nice person, you shouldn't have to compromise the respect you receive or the happiness you're trying to obtain. 5. You're overworked and overwhelmed. Don't let other people pull the wool over your eyes. Constantly taking on other people's problems as your own isn't making you a better person. It's nice to help people out so that they get a break, but you need downtime too. 6. Your expectations of others are completely skewed. If you're so nice that you're constantly doing things for other people, you'll start to expect the same from other people. You'll start to be resentful and disappointed when everyone doesn't go completely out of their way to help you all the time, when in reality, you shouldn't have been placing that kind of weight on them in the first place. 7. You're forgetting to set aside time for self-love. Self-love is the most important love of all. It's like when a flight attendant is explaining how the very first thing you should do if the plane starts to crash is put on your own oxygen mask, not your kid's mask, not your boyfriend's mask, not your grandma's mask, your mask. That's because if you're not well enough to help yourself, you're not going to be well enough to help anyone else around you. The same thing goes for relationships. Don't forget that while compromise is always important, 
your needs, feelings, and dreams shouldn't be getting lost in the mix. Being too nice to your partner may have detrimental effects in your life since there are always different aspects to human personality. You can't be your true self and may annoy your partner too. It's good to be nice, but no one can really be nice all the time. When you always try to put your best foot forward, your partner expects you to behave in the same manner even when you have so much on your mind. In an attempt to save your relationship, you fail to be your true self, which affects overall life satisfaction. Even the tendency to let your partner make important decisions may annoy him or her. He or she may get troubled by the pressure to make wise decisions. The arguments and conflicts of everyday life help you understand each other better. You come across as a weak person and disappoint yourself. When you are too nice to others around you, they are more likely to take advantage. Those who let others call shots in their lives are usually people who have less or no faith in their abilities and depend upon others to give a direction to their lives. Moreover, you expect the same love and respect that you give to others around you. If they do not live up to your expectations, which usually happens, you get utterly disappointed. Being too nice makes your sincere efforts worthless. You are too nice to me is one of the most common phrases that people use while dumping their partners. If you are too nice from your partner's point of view, you may be boring or someone who does not have sex appeal. When you are too predictable and rely upon your partner to make important decisions in your life, you present yourself as weak and needy. You have to act confident and express your opinion to get the respect you deserve. If this is not the case, you fail to impress your partner no matter how hard you try. Balance life with love. Do not hesitate to express your true feelings. Accepting your true self as a human being has millions of other emotions except being nice, and those who acknowledge each emotion live a complete life. You really cannot be happy if you are not your true self, let alone keeping your partner happy. You like your partner to stand by your side, but having his or her own identity is also a priority. Your partner also wishes the same for you and there is nothing wrong with it. Try to act out your true emotions. It will not be the end of the world.